Mr. Shinzo Abe died at 5.03 p.m. China's official response to Shinzo Abe's assassination was sympathetic, with President Xi expressing his deep regret. But on Chinese social media, anti-Japanese sentiment was rife. Hashtag Abe has no vital signs went viral, and many expressed glee that Japan's former prime minister was dead. The public response reflects decades of Chinese government propaganda, vilifying the Japanese for wartime atrocities. There is a very strong feeling among a lot of people in China that Japan is the enemy, that Japan has been very, very nasty to China. Japan and China's dark history of conflict dates back centuries. But it's a more recent war that remains a source of tension today. The Japanese started a series of very aggressive incidents from the beginning of the 1930s and started a general war in China from 1937 until Japan was defeated in 1925. The war left an estimated 15 to 20 million Chinese dead and included one of the worst atrocities of modern times, the Nanjing massacres. The Japanese invading army marched into Nanjing and claiming that male Chinese of military age were soldiers, and therefore they basically started in Mexico. Thousands of women and girls were forced into sexual slavery for Japanese soldiers, so-called comfort women, an issue that's still unresolved today. A better world shall emerge out of the blood and carnage of the past. Japan finally surrendered after the US bombed the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, bringing an end to World War II and the forced dismantling of Japan's military. Japan has tried very hard to make amend, and the previous government in China under Chiang Kai-shek make a point that China will forgive, do not forget about Japanese aggression with a view to develop friendship between China and Japan. China agreed to waive reparations and economic cooperation between the two countries increased. China would become, for more than a decade or two, the largest single recipient of Japanese development aid something which the Chinese government has absolutely refused to publicly acknowledge. Despite Japan's repeated apologies for its wartime conduct, some Japanese leaders continue to deny the past. Visits to the Yasukuni Shrine by Japanese Prime Ministers angers China. The shrine honors the war dead, including convicted Japanese war criminals. And long-simmering tensions are increasing over a territorial dispute in the East China Sea, the Japanese-controlled Senkaku Islands, which China claims and calls Diaoyu. You have, on the one hand, a China that is uh, aggressively projecting its power, and on the other hand, a Japan very concerned about that power. And that just does not make for an easy relationship between the two. In recent years, Japan has tried to build closer ties with China, but has also sought to overturn Japan's pacifist constitution, increase military spending, and voiced support for Taiwan. Japan became a, an extraordinary country uh, after the Second World War in accepting Article 9 of the Constitution, the so-called Peace Clause. So for Japan to even consider moving away from Article 9 is an enormous deal politically, mainly because of the concern that Japan now has over the threat that potentially comes from China. For President Xi, nationalism, stoked by anti-Japanese sentiment, is a powerful tool. 
and perhaps a welcome distraction from China's domestic woes of repeated COVID lockdowns and a weakening economy.